Hi, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady. Age of Iris or Anniversary Rewards are here, and you get to choose one of these three fine ladies. Um, you've got Argent Knight, Vermilion Knight, and Fallen Rosemary. And I wanted to give you my suggestions on who you should choose if you're not sure. Now I'll start with Fallen Rosemary. She's a claw type, and she's a really good uh, lightning support. Uh, if you have, like, Mobius or Cursor of Thunder, she can be a great addition to your team. She's a scythe user, and a lot of times scythe users are gear dependent, but I'm sure she can work just fine. Um, as is. So, this is who I'm personally going to choose. Uh, now, here we go with Argent Knight. She is a ice DPS. Now, there are other Valkyries that have outclassed her. Uh, she's a little outdated, um, but if you don't have an ice DPS, she can be a good choice. Uh, I wouldn't personally recommend this one out of the three. This would probably be my last choice. And with Vermilion Knight, I've had Vermilion Knight for a long time. I really like her. She's pretty fun to play. I don't have very good gear for her, but I can still do pretty decent damage. She's a fire DPS. Um, she has a pretty satisfying move set. And I, yeah, she's fun to play with, for sure. Um, of course, there are other better pyro DPSs or fire DPSs, such as Purser of Flame Scion, but. If you, again, if you don't have one, um, go for her. Now, with Fallen Rosemary, you can actually technically farm her in-game. You can buy her from the War Treasury, but she's very expensive. And these Ancient Legacies are pretty hard to come by. They, like, I bought uh, Miss Pink Elf, and it took me forever. Like, I'd been saving those Ancient Legacies, like, pretty much a year. So just keep that in mind if you are considering farming for that, but brothers might have a better time farming those. Fallen Rosemary is a very solid unit. Um, another thing that's worth mentioning is that you can actually go to the tutorial stage on these characters and learn all of their mechanics and see how they work and what teams go well with them. And I highly recommend doing that if you're not sure, um, because you get to get a feel for the character. Now, of course, this is all completely subjective, and you might just choose your waifu, which is also perfectly fine. Um, anyhow, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, please have a nice day, and like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!